So you see here I went up to catch the tone of voice. This is what I'm talking about. This is not the correct frequency because I should have gone down from 7163. This is actually in 7162.5 or something, but the tuning is incorrect on the LSR unit. from 7300 and do a full scan of the uh, 40 meter band For those wondering, that were not birdies, they were actual radio stations on a 40 meters, uh, 41 meter uh, broadcast band. First, you can change the bandwidth.
Okay, I got EQ1 at two, the uh, frequencies at 200, the levels at two, and the bandwidth at eight. that you can make a stardust and have the freaking elements coming down nearly to the ground. Uh, the, the best I've done with my 90-foot tower was 3.25 wavelengths, and I made four of those uh, radios out of wire on uh, 11 meters. And, uh, man, I'll tell you what, Every time you added length to the radio on that Starduster I dance on, uh, all my buddies, all my buddies uh, around on 11 meters, on, and there's dozens of them, and even out to 70 miles, could tell the difference and, and see an increase in, in my, uh, in, in my... Uh, tuning around the uh, 40 meter band so like I said if the station is on frequency it's not too bad because you don't have to fine-tune that's gonna work out it's when you have to fine-tune it becomes complicated also uh, look how beautiful the eliminated keyboard is that is absolutely beautiful on this radio and the display I have to say the display is beautiful now it's interesting because it looks blue on the video but it's actually black so I don't know what's happening. It's probably the LEDs that are actually uh, creating this light effect on the camera of the phone that I'm using. But uh, this is kind of cool. So that was a 40 meter tuning of the band. Um, yeah, it's mutes. Uh, that probably is what annoys a lot of people. Um, one thing about the muting that I have to say is that on many radios, the slope in the mute means that it takes a certain time for it to come back up. The mute here is annoying, yes, but at least it comes back really fast to the normal level. So it's still tunable, even though it's annoying. Let's let's call it like that. <laughs> so uh, tuning the 40 meter band on the Shoyun LC90. Uh, receiver right now. It's plugged into the MLA30 loop that I have outdoors and uh, playing around. I'm, I'm having fun with this radio. I mean, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's become better without the annoying birdies, so uh, it actually improves shortwave, that's for sure. Um, if they could improve that single sideband so it works well, this radio is going to be interesting. Uh, even though medium wave, long wave is still a little noisy. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thanks for watching, guys.